38% to about 44% fully vaccinated. Adams County has the highest percentage of people vaccinated. That's going to be 43.8% and then Pike County has the lowest percentage at 32%. Meanwhile, new at 10 now that the FDA has given full approval to the Pfizer vaccine, we're hearing from local health officials about what that could mean for the fight against COVID-19 locally. WGEM's Blake Salmon joins us live in Quincy tonight with more on this story. Blake. Dylan and McKenzie, that's right. I talked to physicians from Quincy's two healthcare systems as well as officials here at the Adams County Health Department today. Now, all three say it's an exciting development as it could mean more shots will be going into more arms. You might notice uh, some soreness at the site. Redness. Randall Hebel got his first dose of the coronavirus vaccine today at the Adams County Health Department. He says the new full FDA authorization did play a role in his decision. It helps with what decisions I made on what side that I want to go with what shot. Uh, I've just been watching it for the last year or so, just monitoring what, re, re, just the effects that it's causing on other people. Local doctors say they're hoping full authorization can help reduce vaccine hesitancy. I have encountered a lot of patients who were willing to get vaccinated, but were waiting for the vaccine to be fully FDA approved. According to a Kaiser Foundation study done in June, 30% of unvaccinated adults said they would get a shot if it was fully approved. The fact that it's FDA approved, I hope will push those watchful waiters into people who are accepting the vaccine. According to the Adams County Health Department COVID dashboard, just under 44% of Adams County residents are fully vaccinated. Staff there say they're hoping that percentage starts climbing faster now. The more of us that are vaccinated, it's much more difficult for this virus, regardless of variant, to pass through our community. And then that protects the people that are most vulnerable to it. Hebel says in the end, he got his shot because it was the best thing for him. It was just for my personal health. You know, I've had some medical issues and I just wanted to secure the fact that if I do get COVID, it's a lesser form of it. Now, when it comes to the manufacturers of the other main COVID vaccines, Moderna and Johnson & Johnson, only one of them has applied for full authorization status. According to NBC News, that would be Moderna. Johnson & Johnson has yet to apply for full use authorization. Live in Quincy, I'm Blake Salmon, WGEM News.